since my well, my leg is getting swollen, yeah, well, there's no shoes fit on my leg. When I first met Lai Temi, when we went to put the bandages on, I couldn't get my arms around his leg. His leg was so large. With Just with the bandages on, it's come down a tremendous amount. That's lymphedema therapist Diane Lacey, who has helped hundreds of patients with the condition manage swollen limbs with massage and compression. She says Lautemi Falmuena's leg is the worst she's seen. His foot was covered in folds of skin, the skin around his leg calloused and hard. The 55-year-old is here on a medical visa from American Samoa to have life-changing surgery. He developed lymphedema, swelling caused when the body's lymphatic system stops working, from a parasite infection over a decade ago. I can walk about 10 metres or only a few minutes and I feel I want to sit down. Because it's like a heavy bag of sand pulling if I walk. Until compression therapy decreased the swelling, Lautemi Falmuena had to use a rope to lift his leg onto a bed. He stopped working in 2012, when he was in his early 40s. Plastic and reconstructive surgeon Simon Chong has operated on Mr Falmuena's foot to reduce the swelling with liposuction. The lymphedema is too advanced for microscopic surgery that can prevent such swelling. I don't think I will ever see another patient in my lifetime in New Zealand who was affected by lymphedema as much as Lao Timi and his family. Dr Chong says others offered to help with Mr Falmuena's treatment and surgery and the operation was done for free, facilitated by Anglesey Hospital in Hamilton. Simon Chong says advances in medicine mean if lymphedema is treated early, people need not suffer swollen limbs. In New Zealand, the condition is commonly the result of having lymph nodes removed in cancer treatment. It's a life sentence that you carry with you, and we think that that's completely unnecessary. He travelled overseas to train in microsurgery that reroutes the lymphatic system, using thread as thin as hair. It's the type of treatment that can prevent lymphedema advancing, but until now patients have had to travel abroad. This is something that we can do for New Zealanders. This is something that we can bring to New Zealand, educate people, educate the doctors, educate the patients and lift the standard of care to where we think that it should be, particularly in this day and age. Simon Chong says private practice is just the start. His vision is that surgical treatment for lymphedema will one day be available through the public health system.